that is the key to dissolving any sort of fear for life. The moment you see that you have it, it does not have you, the game changes. I know I have money blocks from my past and I'm actively working on it, but I'm wondering if right before a breakthrough, I will get a bunch of things that cost me money to see if I go back into fear mode because I'm noticing, but not allowing a charge or fear to come over me. I love that you're not letting it have such an impact on you. That is the key to dissolving any sort of fear for life. The moment you see that you have it, it does not have you, the game changes. Now, is it common for that to happen? Absolutely. I see it all the time. Basically what the universe is doing is it's going, and I shared this today. Uh, my team actually posted on my stories today, a video that I recorded last week that I just sent them. And I was like, here, use this wherever, wherever fit. Where in breath work last week, I had this download of me really tuning into my intuition and how everything was like so matching. Everyone was agreeing with me. And then my, my one mentor, John comes in and goes, I don't think this is a good idea. And I'm like, of course you're here to, of course, someone, someone I really trust had to come in here and just with my thoughts a little bit, and then realize that it's not my thoughts. I need to be making decisions from it's my intuition, my heart, my soul. Um, and so of course the universe presented something to be like, are you sure? Oh, really? So when you have a desire to manifest money, especially when you have a bunch of programming that there is to undo that you're in the process of undoing, of course, that programming is going to come up and it's in how you handle that programming, the old patterns, the unexpected expenses, the unexpected bills. It's in how you react and respond to them that the game is going to change because most people respond to it in the same way they always have. And they go, "Mm, it's not working. Damn it. Right. (laughs) Woe is me. Poor me. And instead you take a breather. It's in you being like, huh? Okay. I don't like this. This is an old pattern. The way I used to respond to it, being very victim-minded, very woe is me, poor me, I suck. Look at all these beliefs. This program isn't working. My mentor sucks. My coach isn't helping. Like blah, 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 blah. It's in realizing like, hmm, maybe this is an opportunity for me to go to school right now. And maybe the definition of insanity is doing the same shit over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And If my past decisions or my past actions have given me this result, maybe if I try something different now, I'll get a different result. And it honestly like doesn't matter really what you do as long as you take a different action, because that's the only way you'll take a different outcome. Of course, you want to take an action from a place of aligning with the beliefs that you do want to embody. And that's ultimate ideal. But in terms of like breaking a pattern, it can be anything. It could just be like clapping. Oh my God, I got an unexpected bill. It's way more than I thought it would be, but you know what? I'm clapping for it. And then that does something to your mind where it's not reactivating the same neural fires that are always going off. It's activating something different and it's taking power away from the usual activations, activating a different region of the brain and being like, hmm, that's fucking weird. And then over time or immediately shortly after you're like, okay, What is the action that I do want to take? All right, let's take a deep breather. Let me ask myself, why does this keep happening? What is this trying to teach me? Okay, I see it. I see the belief. It's because I'm expecting the other shoe to drop. Or it's because I don't feel comfortable with this sum of money yet. I haven't developed a nervous system that is feeling good around containing this amount of money. And so automatically my nervous system attracted a, an incident or a situation in which the money had to disappear because I feel a lot more comfortable with lower amounts of money. Whoa. Okay. What steps can I take to start becoming more comfortable with larger amounts of money? 
Well, one way of doing it, which I highly recommend by the way, because I did this is to open up a journal and have a journal dedicated to this game that I used to play where I would give myself a thousand dollars and every single day it will either double or I'll add a thousand dollars. I honestly don't remember which one. It just depends on what you want to play. So let's say day one, I have a thousand bucks, day two, 2000, day three, 3000, day four, 4,000. And every single day I just get comfortable with that amount of money. What would I do if I had this amount of money deposit in my bank account? Well, after, you know, 30 days, you start having $30,000 drop into your bank account every single day and you have to do something with it or it disappears. And so you start to get comfortable with like, oh, $30,000 is nothing. And then it starts to desensitize you to these larger amounts of money. And at some point you're getting like $200,000 deposit into your, into your bank account. Again, you can double it if you want to go faster. Like if you want to do one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two thousand. So you're playing the game faster. That's cool. So you're not doing this for like 300 days straight. That's fine. But it's just accustoming your unconscious mind with seeing bigger numbers and and desensitizing yourself from it so that when you do see it in your bank account or you do see it in your business, you're not automatically like freaking the fuck out like lottery winners do and they just spend all the money away. 